Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Europa. I just wanted to check if it was recording. For some reason, my button to continue the recording is also the slow down button. So I'm going to have to increase that whenever I start recording it. When we last left off, we took Navarra. The next territory I want to go for is Granada. And I... In a couple months, I actually lose my treaty with er, my truce with them, Ooh, which is nice. I actually want to pay a little bit of attention to these two because the problem is that they are allied with Morocco, and I would very much like an ally in that war if they are indeed allied with Morocco. However, there is also something else I would like to do. You ended up in a personal union with Poland? Really? I don't... That seems to happen at random in these games. And sometimes they'll end up in a personal union with Poland, other times they won't. But that's going to more or less guarantee that the Commonwealth is going to actually be founded. Because Poland... What? No, you're just a vassal. I don't care about you. France is utterly wiping out Portugal in, those, in that war that they're going. But that more or less guarantees that the Commonwealth is going to be founded if Lithuania is indeed in a personal union with Poland. Because otherwise, they generally quarrel with each other and never actually take the territories that they need to found the Commonwealth. So it is nice that they have. All the more reason for me to improve relations. As you can see, I get a little bit of a aggressive expansion penalty with everybody when I took Navarra. Not that big a deal. But I need to increase my relations with Poland, possibly make them an ally, because they gar because they are in a person with Lithuania, guarantee that they're going to make the Commonwealth, and the Commonwealth makes for a powerful ally. That was actually my main ally when I played Sweden, when I first played this game. My first game was as Sweden, and Sweden starts in a personal union with Denmark. And Sweden would have to fight Denmark and Norway in order to get an independence war. I can only hope that Lithuania doesn't try to do an independence war. Because I would really like the Commonwealth to exist. If I can get the Commonwealth and France as allies, uh, it's going to be difficult for anybody to try and directly attack me. However, I'll probably also get called into helping with wars quite a lot. Now, I made another thousand troops. My limit is... 3,000 more each one. How many horses do they have? 3,000. Let's increase that to... 4,000, uh, 5,000, and then get two more groups of infantry for either one. I'm very hesitant to actually fight them while Morocco is supporting them, because Morocco has enough boats to be rather, be a f fair bit of a nuisance, if I do say so. Could actually get five more boats, though. You, y you have two, four, and four. You have three, four, and three. So I would like you to have twenty-two. Just another two, another one, another one. Eh, 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 eh. Get over here. The one. And I was, I am so confused. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. So let's actually do that. One early crack. One bark. Two, two bark. But I want it elsewhere. Thanks. Paused for a moment because I was doing all the various 
calculations and a cog so that way I can transport 8,000 men at any one time not too horrible not necessarily great but not too horrible either especially considering the size of my early navy I would like these boats because that will allow me to sink the Moroccan navy and stop them from coming over here and then once I have the war go on for long enough I can merely just white piece them out because I do not feel like attacking Morocco at the moment you need to go there oh gain one inflation lose five prestige because printing money I should have read that I'm so used to not reading them when playing single player and I apologize, because I usually like to read things in my Let's Plays. Uh, anyway, group you together. Are you allied with anybody else? No, just still Morocco. Morocco is going to be one of my earlier targets to try and take down as well, because they are a very nice foothold in Africa. And I would very much like to have Africa, if you don't mind. Meanwhile, Portugal getting utterly thrashed by France. When is France going to... What is France's progress within this war? 40%. If they're at 40%, they really should be ending that war fairly quickly. I have no diplomats to send. I would like a diplomat to send. I want to drag back the Papal State diplomat. What is my mission, by the way? Uh, take Granada because I would like to ally France to see if they would come in this because if they do I basically don't need to worry about Morocco even if they do land granted because they're in another war there's no guarantee that they will actually stay and Rome is getting conquered by Aragon immediately France requests my aid against England and Portugal. You know what? I'm going to use this moment to do something kind of jerky. Which is... take part of Portugal. Now I'm going to do is bring my boats oh hey that was a Portuguese boat but I have ten boats so there though all those Portuguese boats are dead provided they don't bring more over here I don't think the English Navy will sail all the way down here I can only hope those other 7,000 boats don't get here before I go away taking Portugal is okay not necessarily great but not horrible by any stretch of the imagination either. Now once you go there, I want you to split in half and have the other half go down here before France goes there. Because there is another key part. If you are the first, whoever is the first person to start a siege is the person who gets the territory when the siege is finished and that is important because only territory only the person who conquered the territory can actually hope to ever take the territory meaning I can actually request for any of these territories to become mine when the war is over because I am not the one who actually sieged them there is ten Portuguese boats there Portugal still feels okay about me funnily enough but Navarra is now a core. So what I'm going to do is not change their culture because they have too much nationalism, which will last for another 30 years. Quite sizable. But France is helping with these sieges. That is going to help a lot because that's going to be extra people or the war is going to immediately end and I'm going to get nothing. Annul all treaties with Aragon and England. Okay then. Why did it, why is there two boats missing? 
did I start to be in a battle and then lose some boats? I'm still at war with England, so I can't actually move those boats. But, I mean... I no longer have an alliance with Portugal, but I also have a truce with them. And they're still okay with me because historical friend, any of, enemy of my enemy, royal marriage, all that stuff. I mean, if I can take them, I will. If I can't, then I'm not going to complain about it. But now that, that is over, can I declare war on Granada? Yes. Can I drag France into it? No. I'm going to play this like an Iron Man, even though I didn't select Iron Man because I'm stupid. And not if I do something, I am not going to try and go back on it unless it is. No, not even really unless, because I'm going to be trying. It's going to try and be as careful as possible. Still, no guarantee, however. For example, I'm about to annoy Morocco. I actually want my boats to sit there a bit longer and heal, because that is their health right now. They only generate 10%. I might be able to land on their mainland. Ah, My general died. I had a general, apparently. However, I will get a free one, which will increase my effectiveness of my army. You can generally roughly tell how good the general is by how many stars there are on the army. This guy is really good at fire the lead the firing phase, the shock phase, and maneuvering. Not too shabby. What is shabby, however, is what is about to happen to Granada. So I'm just going to walk over Granada and take the territories. As for Portugal, Portugal's watching walking its ten thousand away. I'm really tempted to actually take Portugal, because in my game that I played with my friend, he was Portugal. And granted, we cut up this section of... We basically cut up the northern section of Africa for him, as well. And then I took the rest of it, and it gave him a nice foothold into going over to colonize while I took Africa. But at the same time, I'd like to actually unite the peninsula under one banner. And that includes removing... Portugal from the equation, which, unfortunately, because I took part in that war, I technically can't do until 56. Anyway. And because we have a royal marriage, I believe that would cost me a stability to boot, so... Only if he gets dragged into a war that I need to help with. Although he annulled all treaties with everybody in that war as well, so he's kind of by himself right now. Now, I see 18... Moroccan boats there. Well, Moroccan and Grenadan ships. However, they haven't dropped any troops. If I go to sue for peace, he is really not willing because of mainly of the length of the war. As the length of the war goes on, he will be more and more willing. I also probably need to actually do some sort of combat with him. How many army, how much navy can I have? Three, eight, seven. Three, nine. Three, ten. Four, ten. Four, ten, and eight. Let's get another early crack. And two more cogs to even it out to ten thousand. And a bark for good measure. 
When the war with England is over, that will help immensely. Whenever the war with England is over, is the real question. I could probably white piece, yeah, I could technically white piece out of this thing. However, the nice thing is that if you stay in a war till its end, you will get a bonus with the person. However, he really, really likes me right now, so I don't, and I also have fought to the end when I fought Portugal. So, technically that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I am going, although he is low, Oh, I'm going to white piece out of the thing. It's not like I was helping either way. That causes him to move his boats. Does that grump him? That really makes him separate piece. Negative 30. I've never done that before, so I didn't know that actually happened. That is pretty bad. But I would like to move my boats to go fight the Moroccan Navy. Which these boats should be done in a long while. I'm actually going to increase the timer. Because currently I don't really have a purpose to not. And they immediately ended the war shortly after I white pieced out. <sighs> it looks like he did not get Normandy or Cox, but he did get the two territories down here. Announced me as their rival? Well, I never. I didn't announce you as a rival. I mean, if you want to be my rival, I don't really have a choice in the matter. What is the timer right now? I want to know. It's 17. Okay. About five more minutes. Just don't want to go over the time limit, you see. But now what France is going to do is probably consolidate its forces a little bit. And hopefully by then I can drag it into a war against Aragon. As you can see, would be called in the call. That should change shortly, but as you can see, negative 50 from war exhaustion because they're very tired after their war with England. Who the hell is. Who the hell are you? Oh, you're just a single territory. But once France is more relaxed. I will drag him into the war, and hopefully I will be able to get him the two territories from that war, in which case he would be very happy. Because giving people territories in part of a war that they were part of obviously makes them happier. Autosave. Now this boat isn't done until July. Didn't I build another boat? I got two more transports, but didn't I tell... Did I really... No, I... Oh, oh there, there it is. I thought I told... I thought I clicked on that and nothing popped up. Uh... See, the thing is, and why I want that to be done before I do this, is that boat is extremely sizable. 40 cannons compared to, you know, the 10 that a bark has. And they have three barks there. Basically, what I need to do is do a little bit of combat with Morocco to make them basically just want to get out of the war. I will actually see if I can maybe take some Moroccan territory, although I doubt it. Would it be possible for me to get fleet basing rights? Yes. Because if I get fleet basing rights, I can put my navy right on Suta 
and basically have a safe zone to put all of my army on the Moroccan territory. What is... I can still get one. Meh. Just one extra thousand isn't going to make too big of a difference. We have won the siege of Gibraltar and Almeria. So we've won all of the sieges, but because Morocco was part of it, we only have 17% war score. Which means I can't request full annexation because they have an ally who is in the war and will not allow that to happen. Two more months. Ooh. I'll take extra money for no particular reason besides extra money. Uh, provincial unrest from Navarra. Navarra is fine. Navarra is only a 6.1, and that's mainly because of the war exhaustion, the boot. I'm actually going to increase my stability. And I'll keep some more because I know I'm going to have to use it to core territories. Actually, I don't think I need the core Granada. No, because Granada is technically part of... Technically considered Castilian territory. I am, however, going to need it to core Moroccan territory, which I'm going to try and take. Because Morocco's in this war, I can use Portugal as an easy foothold to get there. Seems good enough for me. Now they move their stuff over there into the Strait of Gibraltar. I. I'm going to fight it. Don't know where you're sailing, but I don't like it. You might be sailing into that lone one ship. There we go. Now my navy is all fighting their navy. Actually, that's only the Granada navy. All of you group up. And if you sit at the Strait of Gibraltar, the... Moroccan Navy will not be able to do jack. I want all of you to go there. Because we are at that tiny port of Gibraltar. But the... Ooh, we captured a ship. Captured another bark. You can capture enemy ships as you as you attack their navy. I generally just remove them because then it's too many ships for my nation to handle and it's just grumpy. I can sail you over to Suta and I have fully increased my relation with Poland and I forgot I was doing that, funnily enough. Uh, improve relations with the Papal State again, please. I told you to go there. I still have a whole lot of army to go over to Morocco, please. And then another 10,000. You go over there because you're starting to face attrition. And then you sail over. There is 21,000 men there. I'm going to go fight them. Have you two go that way, and you go that way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you guys technically considered, um... Why? What? My first 10,000 was able to. What about this? What if I do ask for military access? And put you on the boat take you off the land, auto-save, and then put you back in the land. Put you on the boat, take you off the land, put you back in the land. More of a nuisance than anything. Do I have a leader? Yes, I do. I just didn't equip him. So I want you two, you two, to go over here and group up. And you to go over here. Because we need to fight the Moroccan army. I'd rather deal with it now, while it's there, instead of later, when it's elsewhere. Just go there, and then you follow. Because that 
21,000. Well, apparently not walk there because reasons. I need to get rid of their army. Their army. Uh, it's going to be one of those things, isn't it? Right, you go down there. Where are you going? really wish the AI would stop doing that. Because this is my one major quiff about fighting enemy AI. They are really... The, the enemy AI calculates way too much. But now we've actually caught them. So now we can fight them rock and on. And then I want you guys to start marching up because we can see in what general direction they're retreating. Cannot fight it, fight them while they are retreating, but you can fight them as soon as they're done retreating. And if their morale is low enough, they will instantly just buckle under the weight and die. And that is my plan. They will get a little bit of morale by the time we get there, but that is fine. Because we're still going to be having two groups of people fall on top of them. Like so. We did get a negative penalty because this is mountainous terrain, but oh well. Both of you keep going. I don't know where this army is headed, but I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, I don't. You're heading all the way down there? I'd really like for you to possibly regenerate men. You actually wait until the other portion of the army is there to help you. Okay, both of you go. Will we catch the other 6,000? Yes, we will. That's really hurting my morale, though. That's bad. Pretty bad, actually. Is it possible to take Morocco? Or is Morocco just too much? I think Morocco might be too much for us right now. What I'm going to do is pause. I just realized I've been running at fire speed all this time. And see if Morocco wants to give up. Just a white piece. Will you take a white piece? No. The length of the war is still far too long for them to want to accept a white piece. So you guys just continue walking up. And following the retreating army. Hopefully you guys regenerate men quickly enough. You only get 700 troops a month? Really? Yikes. Maybe that's why it's so painful. You guys regenerated the enemy, do not get a chance to, so this might be the fall of their army. Hopefully. Can only hope. You guys got morale, they did not. Though they have more, they also have much less morale. Provided mo reinforcements don't get there in time. Reinforcements did not get there in time. Morocco, what say you? You say you're still too... You're still too ready to fight. Well, I have done quite a bit. I have not, however, successfully stopped Morocco. But because I've really injured their army, it's given me a little bit of a bonus, but that bonus is falling as they make more and more. That is the other thing, the AI likes to be special and kind of cheat like that, but not really. It's kind of why I wanted France in this, and that's... Hmm. Would they accept a call to arms? No, why wouldn't they? They are still too grumpy from their previous war. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here, because it's probably a little bit over than what I planned on. So, when we come back...
getting Morocco out of the war so that way we can take the rest of Granada. And then, planning on starting another war to take Aragon. This is going to drag in England into it, so I'm going to require France. Actually, while I have a moment, will you accept an alliance? Distance between borders is iffy. Royal marriage, you will not accept because distance between borders and you have a neutral... You have a neutral opinion of me, so I can't actually do anything. That is very bad, because I really want you as an ally. But we'll see what we can do to remedy this next time. That's all for now. Till then, see you later.